Hi everyone, welcome to B Wong's Flying Tutorial for Heroes and Generals, and today we'll be covering the mouse cam. So the mouse cam controls. Now, in the very beginning of this video, when I explained throttle button and throttle control on my mouse, um, here we're going to explain it. So on the side of my mouse, I have these bumpers right here. It's two. So the forward bumper, that's going to be accelerating uh, the throttle. And my bottom bumper is going to be decelerating. It's going to be braking and slowing down. Okay. So those are the buttons. Then I have my left click, which is going to be my primary or my uh, cannons. And then I have my right click, which is going to be for my secondary, which would be machine guns if I had machine guns or a second cannon. Okay. And lastly, my mouse button, five. When I click that mouse scroll wheel, I'll jump out of my plane. Right. So let's demonstrate flying with the mouse. So you can't really see my hand, I guess, um, a little bit, but what I'm going to do is just show you the, the throttle so that throttle with the arrow, right now it's positioned and it's stagnant where the speed is. If I want to increase that speed, I'd want to move the notch a little bit higher and eventually in time that will increase and match where the arrow is. So I'm accelerating my speed. Okay. That little notch with the air, without the arrow that's sticking out of the line, that's kind of your default max speed. Um, when you when you spawn in, I believe, and if you want to decelerate, you just click it on the s smooth scrolling settings that I have it set on, and it'll decrease, and the arrow will follow. And you can activate this in fixed mode, first person, or free look at all times. And sorry guys, I forgot to mention how to go in third person first person fixed mode uh, in using the mouse keys. So to do that, use the mouse scroll wheel. You scroll up forward, just like you're in an AA gun, uh, you'll zoom in. And to zoom back in third, you just scroll that mouse wheel back and then bam, you're in third. Okay? Okay, so let's go to free look right now. So I'm having uh, my thumb hold on to that alt button, right, on the keyboard control, just like I said, and then we're gonna move our mouse to our left to see the camera on our left side. Okay. Now, if we want to, and we did a kind of a half circle. And then, if you want to reset, if you want to look on our right side. We just move the mouse a little to the right. Okay. Now, my sensitivity may be different from all of you, so it might not be exact how much you have to move your mouse. It's whatever you feel comfortable. If I want to look below me, I pull the mouse down. See below me. If I want to pull the mouse up, I can see above me. So that's that's pretty key and important. Um, cannons, like I said, do it with my left, right. Now, if I had machine gun cannons, I'd shoot with my right. Okay. Um, yeah. So even when you have uh, no, say you have debug settings on, I'm still holding the shift button, but I'm not pressing W A S D, right? Any of that. Um, you can still move the plane slightly to adjust aim if you need to. So if I move my mouse to my left like I just showed you there, it'll slide to the left. You can kind of pan your shots or your movement of your of your plane if you need to. And then you can pan right. You can go down. This should aim down instead of just pressing D if you want to aim more smoothly and aim up. So that's another option you have um, to fly if you want to rely on the mouse. But I feel it's much more comfortable with the... Debug controls on your keys. Reason being, when you move really fast, let's let's dive. For example, we're gonna get low. You fly really fast. It's very kind of difficult to stabilize. And see how we're max speed on throttle. Kind of want to slow down here, and then regain your control and move around. Um, because with the mouse, you'll ha you'll be moving it all across your mouse pad. Your mouse pad will slip, and you'll just you'll just won't have a grip on on your plane as easily as if you use the key bindings. That's about it. Uh, last thing is, uh, if you want to do a jack, which I usually don't <laughs> at all, but um, for the sake of not accidentally pressing E and jumping on my plane, I would press my mouse button scroll wheel uh, right here, and then he pops out. Right. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that a uh, mouse can helps, and this is the beginner's guide to controls how to fly debug and how to do it. Alright, see you in the next one.